Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the changes I have done behind the scene for the password page, the card page, my account page, order page, and many more. And also, I will show you the code I have written. Just a review of what is important because a lot of them are repeated things. I don't want to record video for each of those pages, but you will get the idea of how you should design those pages because those pages are important. Although not a lot of customers will see them, but they are required for any Shopify team. So starting from the card page, the only thing I have added in here was this loading. And the loading is just showing this loader in here. You can check the code on GitHub video description. There is a link. You can see all the code on GitHub. So you can check that out. And also I finished off the card page. We have this card slider, but this is the card page itself. So in here you can add a card note also just a special instruction, something like this. And the card page is completely responsive. I finished this uh, behind the scenes, so it would look something like this on mobile. This is great. How about the account page? Now, if I click the account, and if I'm login, th this link is sending us to the account page. If you are not login, it will send you to the password page. And in here, we have the order histories. If we have any order, we have also this print button, but you can design it any way you want. Also addresses. Addresses are very important. Like this design that I have done here is I think much better than much some of the premium themes. So you can copy this for your theme also and use it. If I add an address, this model will pop up using Alpine. We just created this model. And I mean, I did this behind the scenes. So you can check the code on GitHub. And you can create any new address. You can edit the address. Uh, you can delete the address and if I come to the code in here you can find all of them under the customers in here you have account uh, it is a section that is called template account and the reason I put them in a section is because we can put more settings in the future that is the good thing about it and you have this login you have register you have order you have addresses so if I open addresses this is the addresses template probably one of the most complicated template that you will ever have in here but i have extracted everything so nice and clean that you can easily understand what i am doing in here first of all there is the nav bar it is a snippet at uh, the nav bar that you see here if in the future you want to add like more nav bar in here for example uh, you will add an, a link to subscription you will add a link to the wish list you can just directly come here and search for the account nav come here duplicate one of them and you'll it will just get you to that page and that's it um, then you have a logout which shows this logout link for us that's perfect this is the default address that's showing uh, for me in here we can edit it of course this is just a random address that as soon as I sign up this address will be the default address for me okay cool um, new address and everything I have extracted them into three snippets we have new customer this is a model edit customer delete customer so if i try to delete this this model will pop up are you sure you want to delete this because if i delete it this will the top will not be like recovered so that's something that you have to put in the warning and all of them are in this like snippets that you can find out in here everything is nice and clean and you can easily understand what i have done in here if you check the code also some setting of either it shows a full size or not just for this page i think it looks really good in this example but if i come to the order we don't have any order so let's place a test order and see how it will look if it require any changes we can bring those changes also some minor updates in here so this should align we can do that before doing that let's go to the cart uh, this is a lot of products so i'm not going to place that big order if i go to the checkout Clicking the checkout should take us to the checkout page. Um, let's see if we can place a test order. I'm going to show you. Okay, to apply this happy discount. If I come to the Shopify, you click on the setting under the payment. You can enable a test payment in here. Activate test payment in development store. Okay, great. If you click on the manage, you can scroll down and say we enable the test mode in here when you are test mode the payment will be okay in bank number is required uh let's okay this is a phone number let me just put a random number in here for now 
we save it okay phone number is invalid okay let me put a uh, zero four six nine just a random number please stop messaging this guy should be an Australian number I hope this safe and it will enable the test mode for our payment once this test mode is enabled which is now test mode on we can go to the checkout and check out okay I'm using since I'm logging it already picked my address and everything let me just put a one two three Jenny Street let's say Queensland I'm not in Queensland but I will just put a random address here it is nobody okay optional everything let's continue this okay let me just quickly cancel this call okay continue shipping oh last name mm, sorry just wanna place this test order okay express shipping that's okay because we are using a test payment now it says it accept a test payment so for for this one the credit card number for this one will be a test number for the visa will be 42 42 42 so we can come here and we write 42 42 42 I normally write it until the last digit is 3 so we can remove the last digits and in here um, let's put a um, card name of Hojad and let's put an um, any date in the future so we say 0 20 let's say 23 and for the security write any number you want it will just accept that if I pay now 42 order is being processed okay cool we are we have uh, successfully placed the order so if you come to your order page this guy just placed the order that's me okay so if I come back to my website, uh, if I check the account, now the order is displaying in here, except the card image. Now, okay, because I didn't place any order, the account is not displaying these images properly. I am going to fix that behind the scene and then we are all good to go. Because we are, um, yeah, this snippet does not exist. The reason is because I didn't test that part. Okay, I hope this video has been informative and you understand what I have done in here um yeah that's all we need to show you and one more thing i want to before doing that if i come to this product i add it to the cart now see how much uh, we have reactivity in here if i go to the cart page in here uh, you see this card also have one order if i update this this one should also update see it is two now add more this is three now both of them are reactive because we are watching for an event in here um, yeah, that's it. I hope uh, the video is somehow informative. Of course it is. But for the source code, make sure you check the GitHub repository. Thank you.